Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Cyberpunk 2077 and we finally made our way to Pacifica and introduced ourselves to the Voodoo Boys. Um, a guy named Placide has given us a job and uh, we're going to go and meet with his people, so let's go. Damn, look at this place. So the cops don't come here. Except for whatever's going on over there. Don't know if that's cops or not. There's a lot of dots on that map, though. They are my people. Talk with them. You, V? They know you're watching them? This is our turf, our home. We need not to be ghosts here. It is you. Must be ghosts. Be silent. Invisible. Know the way in? Was told you would. Yeah. Garage in the back. But shh. Quietly, yeah? Anything interesting happen over there? Since we are here, all quiet. No one in, no one out? Well, they went out for supplies once. Okay. Enter the mall, and we're supposed to do this quiet? Oh dear. Me and stealth, not always the best of friends. Why do you wait? Just taking in the sights. Okay, enter the mall. I really am annoyed that I can't zoom in while I'm scanning. Can I like do this and then hold? I can. Okay, it's a little awkward, but I can do it. All right, I like that. Is that a turret? Can't seem to turn it off. Alright, not bad. Okay, no remote activation on these to open. 10 out of 20, that's not happening. Did I ever get... I don't think I got far enough into... Let's see. Which one has the stealth stuff? 
can't even remember. What is this one? Oh yeah, hat queue. Okay. Probably want to follow that one up. Wasn't there something about running while crouching? Can't remember which tree that's in. I don't have it though. Got two of them. Just sitting there. And that's not They're gonna be looking for a long fucking while then. Okay, I'm in. I see. The coming. Check it. Right. Dr. Havoc and Radon. The Battery Sphere is in dire straits. The Irinians have occupied almost half the city. Them and their Techno-Rat Scourge have transformed almost everyone into hordes of mindless zombies. Battery Arena is now the final point of resistance against the invaders from Planet X. It seems the end is inevitable. That is, until the legendary mercenary pair arrive just in the nick of time after years of mysterious absence. Okay, so this is like a... This is like a story thing. 10 out of 20 there. Camera and corridor. Avoid it. It even worked. Said this place was abandoned years ago. Now it is not. Animals fix their eyes. The fuck was that? Wait, who was that? Who you think? The runner we won't try to invade you. With the extra ice we give you, it is fine for now. So, he knows I'm here. Yeah, that's disconcerting. Get through there. New models got muscle memory seams. And hide Get people here. Meaning what? The new ones know what I'm gonna do before I do it? And this one I can just pound into the ground. Yep. Exactly. The switch box and the eastern cottontail. 
Though back from the dead, the species will not be moved due to their natural Draw no attention. I think we're past that. Shit, nobody else heard? Okay. Alright, there's somebody like on these stairs or something. You can see him on the map, but don't see him. Where is he? I walk the line. There's so many music references in these uh, quest names. I never noticed that first time I played. Oh, it's off. That's not what I wanted to tag. Got him. Okay, there we go. Okay, I can't zoom in. Shit. Not what I meant to do, but that's okay. Damn, they really need to add a zoom in on this menu right here. It's ridiculous. Um, so I have to have a gun out in order to get this so that I can zoom in. And then I have to hold L2 while pushing R1. Then I can let go of L2 but and tag. It's a, <laughs> it's a bit of a mess. I think they could clean that up. Main ATM. Look for the camera net. Look for the what? Camera net? Alright, also I should have my other gun.
Okay, I thought that one was like walking on up on me, so <laughs> Let me know when you two lock horns. Wouldn't wanna miss it. Okay, he's down below, that's why. Okay. Okay, the turn off on those is on a timer. We've got one on each side. Something to keep in mind. I fought, therefore I am. Okay, have we gone through all of them? Okay, I must be out of tags. Is there only so many tags I can have? That might be the case. Who? Where? What? Is that him? Or somebody else? Going on. No, not a you have company soon. Scan it right away. 
that bad, huh? Radio on the she must have a weak spot. Got my crew already looking for her. Okay, we're gonna take this so slow. The fuck? Turn back? Is this the Netrunner telling me this shit? You serious right now? Okay, so that Netrunner, like, knows, knows we're here, but why aren't they warning everybody else if they know exactly where we are? That's what has me concerned. It's like that unknown is a bit scary. Okay, at the van, but no sign of the runner. I see what you see. No chatter. Now, interfere with the van. Mind telling me what we're looking at? Data flow map of Pacifica. They hunt Agwe. Who is they? Netwatch. They always out to fuck us. What are they looking for exactly? Internal data forts. If they crush our eyes, they take Agwe and the entire net. They return to the dark time of Bartmos. How bad does it look? I do not know how much data they pull. But their map is no complete. They still not have source validation. Okay, so what's on me to do? You must reach the agent. Easy now to find him. Look at the map. He is in cinema. Step away now. This isn't your fight. Mad. What? Placide what? They're caught. Pushed out. The runner know you are here. Hunt him. Can't you scorch him via the net? He's got to be jacked into the van. I cannot piece his protection. You must find him. Face him. Okay. Okay. So what do I do once I find him? I will tell you. The Asian man tries to cut you off. The animals be here soon. Pass to elevator shaft to reach the lobby. Left side. You will stay unseen. Come on! I swear I won't completely kill you! People are like actively moving now. Oh boy. Okay. Turn back. Oh, so I think that I went the opposite way. They wanted me to come through this way. Alright, if I engage with this Sasquatch in here, is it going to alert everybody else out there? Because it might. Go! 
come at me, bring it! Got her! Shit! Oh! Oh! Stop it! No! <laughs> Ready for some fun? Proceed. What's going on? Let the judges. Keep focused. <laughs> I gotta go for that piece on her back, I think, when that happens. Okay, we need different guns. Okay, shotgun. <laughs> Damn it. I think she's had enough. Proceed. Whoa, hey, easy. What did you do? Well, now we can talk in private. Just severed the connection to the rest of Pacifica. Gives us a little time. Just a second ago, you tried to flatline me. And now you want to talk. Flatline? No, just discourage. But it looks like I underestimated you. No more fucking tangents. Fess up. Who are you? Bryce Mosley, Netwatch Special Agent. Can we talk? Had a specter on you, didn't you? Saw and heard all you did. You followed his orders. No idea what the voodoo boys are paying you, but our pockets are deeper. Sorry. Don't work with corpse. Come on. Everyone does. I bet you have too. Could verify that right away, actually. But we don't need any distractions, do we? Not interested. Not a money job for me. Just need an end with Maman Brigitte, voodoo chefin. Brigitte and her lapdog T. Neptune have been frozen several days now, ever since we shrouded their subnet with ice. And you? Well, you were sent here to free them. Do you know why they didn't tell you everything? Because you're a Ranyan. That's what they call outsiders brought in for special jobs, floor rags. When you're no longer needed, they chuck you. 
a fate for all Ranyans. You're bluffing. Got your back against the wall, can't budge, no room to dodge the bullet. I see no reason why both of us shouldn't walk out of here alive. Oh, want well, what's best for me? Altruism now part of the Netwatch mission? You don't gotta like us to see we're better partners than the Voodoo Boys. Eh, sure, don't agree with that. Brigitte. Can't have much of a convo with her if you're dead. Rather put my trust in the VDBs than in you, by a mile. Hey, I know we're unpopular in your circles, but whenever there's a real problem, it's Netwatch, not Pacifica's shady hacker cult that gets the call. See that, right? Voodoo's no black tech better than anyone, so no. Think I prefer their expertise over yours. Clever, kinda, but the wrong choice. Know why? They never answer the call. If you're not Pacifica born and bred, you're nothing to them, less than nothing. You have Brigitte? And how'd you manage that? When we took the mall, we knew the VDBs at Sem Runners. T Neptune breached first to see what was going on. When we iced him, Brigitte dove in after him, used him to shield herself. Tough cookie, that one, but still finds herself stuck. Got anything to back that claim? But the Voodoos want to set me up. Wanna? They did it already. Soon as you handed over your link, slipped in the Spectre and a virus. <laughs> Talking as if he was there. He's working you. So obvious it hurts. Oh, trust Ask me, I'm for not. for proof. Sides, I'd know. <laughs> That's so? Then please take a look. Run a system diagnostic. No. Think I'll just stick to my plan. <clears throat> if I run a diagnostic, I wonder if uh, that gives his, him an opening to attack us or something. What is that? Shit, that's not good. Probably hit some kind of crazy netwatch firewall in him or something. Shit, he's dead. Oh, damn. Is that the hey, virus v, they put in us? Right? Give me a sec. You look just like him a sec ago. Thanks. <clears throat> Wasn't asking. Uh, I wonder if that happened? was supposed to burn me out, too. The net pig was right. Voodoo's were blowing smoke. Soon as you gave them access to the Netwatch web, they roasted all the agents. And you. Then why is my brain not a pile of hot goo? You know, you finally grew a pair, toughed it out. Think the Voodoo's freed Brigitte? Seems that was their plan. Worked thanks to you, I'd say. Damn, After they the really did serve us up. Fucking kamikaze drone. Who'd take a job from us spooky ass Voodoo boys? Plessy took you for pathetic gutter trash, someone who no one's ever gonna come looking for. Felt like those words came to you awfully easy. Well, you do look like shit right now. <laughs> but I guess you have your good days. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Think Thinking me as gutter trash. Heart with our pal Placide. Head to baddies. Grumpy motherfucker. Hope he likes surprises. Yeah, it certainly will be a surprise. Honestly, that was like a smart move for them. That was such a great way to get into Netwatch's shit. Of course, you know, being the, um... Being the one who goes down with them really sucks, but... The Voodoo Boys are smart, I'll give them that. Regarding case, special authority has been granted to Agent... Data... Available, data, unavailable. Um, I wonder if you can actually translate this. From Evelyn Parker to Bree Deal Netwatch Special Agent? Relic Offer. If you keep redirecting me to the person responsible, I'll have to just find another buyer for Relic. 
I know you're stalling for time to check me out, but you're wasting your time. All the info you need is what I've already provided. I have access to Relic 2.0, the biochip storing the construct of Johnny Silverhand. And I know it's not some random engram you want, but him to contact. A. From Bree Deal to Evelyn Parker. This is standard procedure. We require more information to authorize a transaction for the sum you requested. The people who initially engage you to seize the chip. Who are they exactly? And what is their interest in the construct of Johnny Silverhand? Who led the biochip extraction effort? Who were their accomplices? What are the relic's technical specifications? From Evelyn to Bree. This is not a standard offer, so give it a rest with your standard procedure. This is about bleeding edge Arasaka tech. As for who's leading this whole operation, I figured it should be obvious that I am. That's why you're talking to me. And they are the Voodoo Boys, another detail you probably knew already. The agent I spoke to last guaranteed protection and a new identity. Once the transfer is finalized, I expect you to hold your end of the deal. Damn, dude. Mademoiselle Leve Poudance. Alright, somebody's gonna have to uh, translate that for me. Can't exactly copy and paste into Google Translate, so if somebody else wants to type that letter by letter, be my guest. Okay, do we think people are still going to be out here? Okay, well, with people gone, I think I'm going to go through here and loot. In celebration of the Grand Imperial Mall's grand opening, we're offering 30% off everything in-house today only. Use code WELCOME30GIM to claim your savings now. Hundreds of offers on thousands of products. Can't decide what to buy? Talk with one of our expert sales advisors. Can't carry another bag more? Catch a movie at the cinema. Feeling worn out? Don't leave just yet. Napping pods are available on demand. And don't forget, every purchase you make enters your name into the lottery for free tickets to the Ferris wheel and roller coaster. You won't want to miss the best view of the Night City skyline in town. Net Shaman, Pacifica has everything you would expect of a place with such an infamous reputation. Shady locals, sketchy shops, and the presence of the enigmatic voodoo boys. Enigmatic how, you ask? After all, it's not uncommon for close-knit gangs to harbor secrets about which the rest of the city is completely unaware. And the voodoo boys are no different from any of those groups, right? Now ask yourself this, have you ever witnessed a gang shootout? Probably more times than you can count on two hands. And who was there? The Valentinos, Tiger Claws, Maelstrom, Sixth Street. But never the voodoo boys. Never them. Depending on who you ask, you will hear different stories and opinions about this reclusive gang. They are the de facto leaders of Night City's Haitian dis uh, dis diaspora. They slaughter black roosters in blood sacrifice. God only knows where they get them. They commune with their ancestors through prayer. They summon ghosts and allow them to assume control of their bodies. They bring pain, disease, and suffering to their enemy's doorstep with the help of occult voodoo dolls. Perhaps you think some or even all of these claims are just hollow rumors. But can you be so sure they are hollow rumors? Um, but they are hackers, so... Um, they're not using voodoo dolls, they're using tech. They're using net running. Some say they have witnessed voodoo boy net runners in the deep net surrounded by vampires and leviathans. They traverse these strange depths of cyberspace. Both more beautiful and dangerous than we could ever imagine. In real space. Their objectives? 
they're known only to themselves. So, who are they? What are they searching for? What is their plan? In the end, perhaps, we shouldn't ask ourselves these questions. Indeed, some secrets are better left undiscovered. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Les vivants. I'm alive, bitch. You wish to talk to Placid? Is that what you want? Be because I can take you. Lead the way. Rentrez. You assholes owe me big time. Big time. Jerks. You return. How? How you manage this? You set me up! You booze us! Try me, Placid. Yes, but I also saw her scans. She is no Ranyu. Voye Pep Nua on bar. We are not safe here. Send in Placid away just for little old me. I did not want him to harm you. That we cannot allow. You know about the biochip, don't you? Yes, and we must check its condition. What, we're not going to talk about the fact that you just tried to burn me out? How much you know from my scans? More than Placid, I'm sure. You recognize the biochip because you've been looking for it. We must examine you. If you survive the gym, it is at the chip's cost. Should have thought about that before you tried to kill me. If I was here, the chip would never be in danger. If it is in good condition, we offer you a fair price. Perhaps more for the emotional toll. You're not going to be able to get it out, girl. <laughs> Biochip's not for sale. And you're not ripping it out of me. Thing was in shit shape already before I strolled into the gym. It does not function. Not that bad. Problem is, no one I've talked to can yank it out without risk of death. Seeing as you commissioned the thing stuffed, figured you might know a way to help. How do you know all this? How did you Evelyn find Evelyn Parker. This? Name ring a bell? Ah, the doll. The whore. Don't talk about her you that way. You found us because she led you to us. She has proved not completely useless after all. Listen, can you help me or not? Don't disrespect yes, Evelyn. Yes, of course, but I not won't have it. We will go to the crib, where you must give us access to the jeep. Once we have the data we need, we will do our best to help you. Seriously. Haven't done enough for you already. There is no other way. To remove it, we must first examine it. Because if you fuck up, you're left empty-handed? That it? I gave my word. We will help you. Looks like I got no choice. Follow me. After what just happened, I'm having a hard time trusting you guys. Not gonna lie. You guys sure seem to love this place. But, honestly... You don't give off a strong religious vibe. We left our gods on Aiti, yet we are strong here without them. This way. What you gonna do with that, buddy? If she tries anything, you're all going down. So how come Placide didn't know about the biochip? He didn't recognize it in the scans. Few of our people know about Compeki Tower. But Placide, he is. Your bet de ba. Where are we going? Soon you will see.
<sighs> the Watcher did not notice the biochip in you. Strange. Never gave him a chance. Good. It would complicate our work. This an old subway tunnel? No. Part of the transcontinental maglev system. Dude, look at that lighting through there. Were oh, that was so good. Like the net, it too crumbled after the war. View a courant. The consciousness curse. Man dies the way he was born, soft, weak, and helpless. Death, the one certainty in this universe of chaos, can be both a tragic end and a release from suffering. It can come as an unexpected twist or as a beautiful crowning counterpart to a life well lived. The curse we face as humanity, the only living beings in constant awareness of death, is our inordinate focus on the fact. How much happier is the life of the gazelle that escapes the cheetah's clutches, thinking that it evaded death once and for all, than the poor soul living out his days knowing each step inches him closer to the void. Damn, the ray tracing is doing this shit justice right now. Bon. We take you into the cyberspace. No better place for you to interact with the construct. Guess all this means you got your own synth tech interface. We have our own versions of all. We do not use anything from the city. How do I know I'll come back? Do I get some guarantee? You will be inside our data fortress. Under watch. Under your watch. If you knew what is out there in the cyberspace, you would not be so choosy. How's all this any different from plain old net running? The interface show you the data layers direct from the net. Readable, of course. What the basic runners see is only a map. They cannot see beneath the surface. Their tech, it is too weak. Okay, hang on. Want to know what you need Silverhand for first? We wish to contact Alt Cunningham. We know she and Silverhand were close. Alt? The relic which Arasaka held close. It is our only lead. Alt Cunningham. Heard of her. Oh. Where? From who? From Johnny. Though, granted, not much. Johnny? All right, V. Guess you better tell her. Tell her what? About us. Construct's active. Let's me and Johnny shoot the shit every now and then. Mm-hmm. We will look at this, too. What, you think I'm hallucinating? Found myself an imaginary friend? Little is known of how an engram might exist within a human's neural network. Tell you one thing. It doesn't shake out well for the human. What's your plan to contact Alt? We try to cut out a unique piece of Silverhand's engram from the biochip. Alt will know it. If something of the human is left after years beyond the Black Wall, she will answer. Well, what? Said nothing about breaking through the Black Wall. Well, now you know. Direction yeah. connected. Connection stab. Johnny, looks like you're the bait. You okay with that? Yeah, whatever. Just do what she says. What exactly do you want from Alt? All of you. Alt, the only one, can give us safe passage past the Black Wall. When the change comes, we wish to be on the winning side. The change? When the Black Wall was built, everyone think the ice would be enough. Keep the wild AIs out, away. But technology advances. It cannot be stopped. And now, catastrophe come again. This is sure, and soon. The corporations, they do not see the danger. But we, we will be ready. The Black Wall, what is it exactly? I mean, I know. You know only what the Netwatch tell you. The final bastion against the post-war AIs. The great victory of humanity over chaos. That would be your Saturday morning Netwatch propaganda. But the Black Wall is an AI itself. The boundary condition let no thing pass through, either way. If the AIs thought like people, they would call it a traitor. Okay. 
So the black wall is basically an AI that serves as a firewall between um, the net as we know it Why now and the, the old net that was broken into a thousand pieces. Kind of like a no man's land of the internet. That is also dangerous and full of like uh, uh, daemons, which are basically viruses for the most part and rogue AIs. Oh, come on. Not the tub. We must prepare you for the dive into cyberspace. You are not accustomed to the neural demand. Don't try and get out of this, V. Just do what she says. I'm not about to sizzle with you. Okay. Now, I don't know that much about Alt Cunningham, but Silverhand knows her. <sighs> Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What now? Johnny? Oui, pare. Pare plongé. so trippy well i think i'm gonna end the episode here seems like a good place and uh i doubt that i'm gonna be able to finish whatever this is in the next eight minutes so um i figured this will be a good bridge so that we can uh get basically all of this net stuff in the same episode so thank you all for being here don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next episode where we do some deep dive net running bye everybody I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Andrew Smith, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Vlada101, Andy Ford, Bruce Wizzle, Black Mamba90, Eureka Gecko, A Happy Fat Panda, Dennis McKinnon, Turkeyfoot27, Pedo Kuto, and Nadia N. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.